I just have here up the comparison of storage classes just to make it a bit easier for you to see what's going on here. So you can see across the board, we have durability at the 11 nines across all services. Uh, there is reduced durability in one zone IA, but I guess it's trying to say that maybe it has 11 nines in that one zone. I'm not sure. So that one confuses me a bit, but you have to think that if you're only running in one zone, there has to be reduced durability. Uh, for availability, it's 99.9% .9 until we hit one zone IA. For Glacier and Glacier Deep Archive, it's not applicable because it's just going to take a really long time to access those files. So availability is like indefinitely slow. We're not going to put a percentage on that. Uh, for AZs, um, the, it's going to run in uh, uh, three or more AZs from standard to standard IA. Actually, across the board, the only one that it's reduced is for one zone IA. I always wonder, you know, if you're running in Canada Central, if it would only use the two, because there's only two availability zones there. Um, so it's always a question I have on the top of my head. But anyway, it's always three or more AZs. Um, you can see that uh, there is a capacity charge for standard IA and above. For There is a storage uh, duration charge for um, in, uh, all the tiers with the exception of standard. And then you have your retrieval fees, which are only going to come in your IAs and your Glacier. Okay, And then you have the latency. That's how fast you can access files. And you can see MS means milliseconds. So for all these tiers, it's super, super fast. Uh, and, you know, it's good to just repeat, but, you know, um, AWS does give a guarantee of 99.99% of .99 availability. It has a guarantee of 11.9's durability. All right. So there you go. That is the a big comparison.